On my channel, I get asked quite a few questions. Some of them get asked over and over again, such as, what is your distribution of choice? What is your favorite desktop environment? Your favorite terminal emulator program? What is the meaning of life? Okay, maybe not that last one, but some questions I do get asked over and over again, but I don't really mind. I'll answer over and over again, but what I like to do whenever I can is create a video to refer people back to when I do get asked a repeat question. And for a long time, I've been using Etcher to answer the question, what is your preferred solution for creating bootable flash drives from Linux ISO images? Now, one of my viewers recently made me aware of the fact that Etcher has been going through a bit of controversy surrounding network traffic that's going on in the background. Now, I haven't actually checked too deeply into that to find out what network traffic it might be and where it's going, but I don't want to take any risks at all. So what I've decided to do is check out a new utility that I'm going to be recommending to everyone going forward whenever someone wants to know how to take a Linux ISO image and create a bootable USB installer with it for installing and checking out Linux. And that search has brought me to USB Imager. It's open source, it's small, it supports Windows, Mac OS, and of course Linux, so it checks all of the boxes for me. So in this video, I am going to show you guys where to get this utility and how to use it. So let's go ahead and dive right in. So here on the screen, you will see the GitLab page for USB Imager. As I've mentioned earlier in the video, this is an open source utility, and this is the site where you can go to actually view and inspect the source code. As always, I will have a link in the description below to this page right here, so you can go ahead and check it out for yourself. So if we scroll down a bit here, we will see that this tool supports multiple operating systems. For example, the first item is Windows. So for those of you that are on Windows and you want to give Linux a shot, you can use the Windows version of this utility to create a bootable flash drive that you can use to test out Linux. We also have a version for Mac OS X, soon to be Mac OS 11. We have a generic Linux PC version because, you know, there's a bunch of Linux distributions out there. They can't possibly list them all. So you should be able to download that version for whatever your distribution happens to be. But if you are running one of the distributions on the screen here, such as Ubuntu LTS, Arch, Manjaro, or Raspberry Pi OS, there are versions specifically for those platforms. And scrolling down a bit further, we can see some screenshots for what the utility will look like if you were to run it on your end. The first screenshot shows Windows and then Mac OS and then a distribution of Linux. We also have some installation instructions on the screen. I will show you how to install this on Ubuntu. I will also show you how to run the generic Linux version as well. And if we scroll down even further, we get a list of features. A comparison chart and some additional usage instructions right here. I will leave it up to you to go through this document if you'd like to do that. But what I'm going to do is go ahead and get this downloaded so we can give it a shot. So what I'm going to do on my end, I will download this generic Linux version right here, the GTK version specifically. And then I will also download the Ubuntu specific version as well. And this is a very, very tiny download here. So regardless of your internet speed, this should download very quickly. As an example, what I will do is download an Ubuntu ISO. So I'll go ahead and download that. And I will give this a moment to download. So we should have everything that we need at this point to go ahead and give this a shot. So let's do it. So here we have three files. I have the Ubuntu ISO image, which is the standard format for Linux installation media. And then I have two versions of the USB imager utility downloaded here. So what I will do is extract the generic Linux version right here. 
And if you are running on Windows, for example, the process should be very similar. It will also be a zip file for you Windows users and inside that zip file will be a folder and inside that folder will be the utility in executable format. And then all you should need to do is double click on it. So in my case, if I open up this directory right here, the Linux version has two folders. We have a bin and a share folder here. Now you should be able to just drag these folders into the slash user, it's abbreviated USR on Linux in that directory in the root of the file system to install it permanently. I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do instead is just double click on bin. So here we have the USB imager utility extracted. Now normally on Linux what you would do is just right click on such a binary, go to properties, and then permissions and ensure the box here that says allow executing file as a program is checked, which it already is. But for some reason, when I double click on it, it doesn't actually open. And if I right click and open it here, it doesn't work. So what you can actually do, just right click the window, open in terminal, and then just type a dot forward slash and then USB imager and press enter. And the utility appears as you see here. Now that is the generic Linux version, but it's actually much easier to go ahead and install the dev version if you are running on Ubuntu. Since I am running on Pop! OS, which is based on Ubuntu, I can download the dev version. And if you are running one of the distributions that is on the list, you should be able to simply download that version for your distribution. But what I will do is double click on USB imager. I'll click on install. I'll type in my super secret password preferably correctly. And now it's installed. And what's really cool about installing the distribution specific version is if you go to your applications list, I'll just go to the overview here, and you just start typing USB, you will see USB imager right here on your list of installed applications. So I find that to be an easier way to go because you'll get the icon and it'll be immediately integrated into your distribution. And if I click on it, then as you see here, the USB imager utility appears on the screen. So to use the utility, the first thing you do is you click on these three dots right here and then a file browser will appear and then you just find the ISO file that you've downloaded. I have mine right here and then you click on open. So we've selected the image right here See if I can make this a little bigger. There we go. And next we plug in a flash drive. And then we should see it on the list if we drop this down. And as soon as I drop that down, it automatically selected my flash drive. It's the only flash drive that I have inserted, so there was no other option. And it probably goes without saying, but you want to make sure that you have backed up everything on your flash drive because this process will erase everything on it. So don't continue unless you are sure there's nothing on your flash drive that you want to keep. Basically what this tool is going to do is dedicate that flash drive to be a Linux installer for whatever distribution you've downloaded. And then here we have a verify checkbox that is checked by default. And what that will do is attempt to verify that the process has been completed successfully. And that's very important because if any of the bits were flipped in the process, which is rare, but it does happen. You may experience issues with the Linux distribution when you go to try it. And here we have the right button that'll actually start the process of copying the ISO image onto the flash drive. We also have a read button that I will go through in a minute, but let's go ahead and click on write. And I'll type in my password here. And we can see that the process has already started. It's going by very quickly here, as you can see. So I'm going to give that about a minute to finish, and then I will be right back. So the process is complete. And in my case, the USB flash drive here has been written with the Ubuntu ISO image. So I should be able to use this flash drive to boot another computer into Ubuntu in live mode and even install Ubuntu if I wish. Regardless of the distribution that you are trying, this utility should be useful in allowing you to create bootable media for that distribution. Now, what you can also do is use this utility to back up your flash drive as well. Now, notice we have a read button here, and if we click on that, it's actually going to do the reverse.
And notice that we have the image being created right here on my desktop. Of course, you have to have enough space on your computer to accommodate the image that you are saving. But as you can see here, you can do the reverse and you can back up your flash drive into an image file as well. And that's what I'm doing. So I will let this finish and I will be right back. So there it is. As you can see, the image has been successfully saved. When you're using tools and utility programs for managing your computers, your servers, backing them up, fixing problems, it's very important that you can trust the utilities that you're using. And I feel like I can trust USB Imager. So I'm going to be recommending this over at your going forward. And let me know what you guys think of this utility down in the description below. And also let me know if there are any other utilities that I should be taking a look at. But going forward, USB Imager is the way to go. And if that ever changes, I will make a follow-up video. But for right now, I highly recommend you check out USB Imager and make it a part of your tool set. So I hope you enjoyed that, guys. And as always, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you again very soon. Thanks for watching.